Hi guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. In, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom face whenever you join a Roblox experience, Roblox Studio. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to make a script where you can have a custom face. Pretty much everyone will have a custom face, whether or not you like it or not. Um, but anyways, so in this video, I'm actually going to show you guys how to do it. And it's actually pretty easy, but at the same time, it's kind of difficult. So for those wondering, this is scripting part two or episode two as people like to call. And basically the scripting series is where I make different types of scripts where you guys can use and they may be useful and they may not be useful depending on the type of game you're making. So before I continue on, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe and leave a like and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So first things first, we're going to insert a script inside of a surface known as server script surface. Basically, it will hold all the scripts and they're not available when the game is loaded in, or as people call them, experience. So once we're inserting the script inside, we're going to look for a custom face. And it can be any, but I'm just going to go ahead and search one up. And also, I had to censor toolbox because there's actually a face display that was not appropriate so uh, just keep that in mind but for the purpose of this video I'm actually going to be doing a smile so uh, just keep that in mind so uh, open up toolbox and search up a smiley face that you want in the images tab also known as decals for those played Roblox in the past and you can just select any smile just right click on it and click on copy asset ID. There also used to be a copy asset URL, but it has been removed. So unfortunately it's only asset ID, that's perfectly fine. Once you have that copied, you can do you know the naming of the script as long as it's appropriate. So um, for this video, I'm just gonna call it custom face script. And basically it's gonna insert a custom face whenever you load in. So that's pretty nice. Unfortunately though, the only downside with this is that when you reset and you of course respawn, you probably won't be able to get the custom base. But let's hope it does work. So I'm pretty new to this, but let's just hope it works anyways. So I'm gonna go back to properties. I'm gonna make sure everything is perfectly fine. This right here needs to be enabled so that way it works. Name is fine, parent needs to be server script service. It can also be workspace, but server script service is recommended. You can also have the behavior and disable this, but I highly recommend you enable it, which means you need to leave this as it is, or else it will not work. So I'm going to delete all of this. We do not need this for the video. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do this. The first thing we're going to do is add a variable. So for those wondering, variables are very, 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 very ironic things that you can add to your scripts, and they're very manageable and are easier to do than just typing a whole bunch of code just to manage one little property. So in order to get an instance through a variable, we're gonna type in the following. And there are actually two different types of variables, global and local, although there could be more if I'm mistaken. So I'm gonna do a local, so I'm gonna type in local, and then I'm gonna type in players equals game, and then put a colon, get surface, players and basically this will get the surface called players which is the second instance just below a workspace as workspace is the first one for those wondering so players is going to be the most important for this video once we get the surface players we'll be able to do the rest of this stuff you know all kinds of fun stuff so as you can see here, the reason I put get surface is because if you just type it in as game.players, it probably will fire an error sometimes. So make sure you put get surface as well, as most people who make tutorials will also do this. Go ahead and insert another line and type in the following. Players.playerAdded connect function. And then also, if in the, the parentheses after function, type in the name you want to do. So for me, I'm going to type in just player. And I highly recommend you do actually type in a proper name for this. So that way it's easier to make your scripts feel wonderful and incredible than just typing like a car and all that. Although that's perfectly fine. But after all, I think putting like this is perfectly 
find PLR, which is also player. It's also okay. So uh, any of that is acceptable. Just make sure you put something in here. And other than that, I guess you're good to go. And it has to be appropriate. Once you're done, just insert another line and make sure you put an end with a parenthesis. This parenthesis, not the other one. And this will determine that it's a function. So just keep that in mind. Once we do that, we're going to get the character. So in order to do that, we're going to put in player dot character added connect function. And then we're going to put in character. And just like player added, you need to put something inside of these parentheses in order for it to work. And just like player added, we're going to put in an end with a parenthesis. And this is because it's also a function. So keep that in mind. Once we're done with that, we're going to actually get the face of the player. So in order to do that, we're going to put in local head equals character wait for child head. And this will get the head of the character. And once that, we're going to go insert another line and we're going to get the face of the player's head. So in order to do that, we put local face equals head dot face. You can also type in head dot wait for child face, which is perfectly fine. And make sure that face is all lowercase because face in the actual experience is lowercase. Do not put a capital F. Make sure you put a lowercase F. And other than that, you're good to go. Every face will also say face with all lowercase letters. So keep that in mind. Once you're done, go ahead and put the following. Face dot, and I believe, if I'm mistaken, <laughs> I think it's image ID. So for those who are very, very confused, it is a decal. So in order to determine the properties of a decal, you can insert a decal and you can determine what a decal is. So for me, it's actually this one. And faces are decals, so this will make it pretty easy. But for me, I have to figure out what is going on here. So yeah. So face dot texture equals, and then we're gonna put two quotation marks. You can also put two apostrophes, but quotation marks are recommended. Inside of these little quotation marks or apostrophes, depending on which one you're using, we're gonna type in the following: RBX asset ID colon two of these slashes, and then paste in the numbers you typed in. You can also right click and click on paste, which will also work. And if you don't like what you have, you can select it by double clicking on the numbers. You can press backspace or delete. And, or you can also undo by clicking on this button over here. You can right click anywhere in the script and click on undo. Or you can just simply do control Z, which will also undo. And redo, you just control Y and do the same procedures as I do. You know, there's a white arrow up here in case you guys are wondering. It's just redo right here. Anyways, so once that, I guess you're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and click on play, which will display in the home menu. And it will also display in test. So uh, keep that in mind. So home and test will show play over here. It could also be displayed over here depending on your you know, settings in Roblox Studio. So just keep that in mind. So as you can see, if we did the right increments, if we did the right measurements and all those accurate things, our face should update. And if not, I think I did something wrong. So as you can see, if you look in here, normally I see two you know, little dots here, but if you look, our face got updated. And uh, for a better view, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the Santa hat so that way, um, makes it better to see. And as you can see, our face got updated to this. And this is not editing, this is real, so just keep that in mind. And as you can see, our beloved face, which has, you know, the smiley, has been removed and replaced by this one. This is because the texture of it got updated, so just keep that in mind. And as you can see, it looks much better like this, and I think a lot of people are going to be using this if they want custom faces at the start. However, there is actually one major disadvantage. If you reset your character at any time in the game, so if I reset right now, 
if I simply reset my character anywhere I go, um, like I did, the face will reset back to its original. And for some reason, I'm not loading it. So um, I think it's kind of glitchy, or it's just me. But there we go, I got back it. So, yeah, and uh, actually, that's not true, because when I loaded it in, my face got back to this. <laughs> and that's good, because it's supposed to be loaded like this. Now, the reason why this was the case is because character added will load in every single time the character gets introduced whenever you respawn. So that is a great way to change your face every single time. And that is just amazing. And not only that, it gets better when it gets every single player in the server. So that's amazing. And I think, generally speaking, barely anyone's going to use this anyways. But if you have a game where you have a custom face for everyone, this is extremely convenient, and I think it's a great way to make sure it works. And uh, by the way, for those wondering, you can also add a custom face in game settings, but I'm not doing that for the video because number one, the game is not actually published, and number two, uh, yeah, so game settings is not available for me yet, I have to publish it, but basically, um, if you're too lazy to do that, you can just add a script for this, and uh, as you can see, you can just make a custom face like that too. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. If this video helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video.